but there's a lot of industries that have something to lose here, right? Mm -hmm. If people aren't smoking, big tobacco might be worried. If people aren't drinking as much, big alcohol might be worried. Uh, people aren't engaging in as much snacking anymore. And the snack food industry has already come out multiple times and said they're concerned. I wonder about the different pharmaceutical drugs that uh, people are taking that no one box at, like the statins and the blood pressure drugs and these lifetime drugs for a lifetime, you know, a, a, a lifestyle induced illness like type two diabetes. That's a, the diabetes industrial complex is very profitable for a lot of industries. And that's potentially being shifted and changed. So there's just a lot of industries that may have something to say here too, that might be driving the narrative. I don't know, I'm guessing, but I'm pretty good at spotting propaganda when I see it. And I see a whole lot of it around this. And then I hear a lot of parroting of the same nonsense and people just can't get with it. So at this point, for those who are hating on it, like that's just literally intentional ignorance. There's just no way there's too much data out there to support what it is that I'm lying down. I'm not saying everybody should be on a GLP-1, but there certainly is indication for it in a lot of different ways that might be potentially, like you said, it's just a complete game changer.